a breakthrough in what could be a major step towards curing diabetes. Researchers have succeeded in making insulin, producing cells in other parts of the body. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez says that these new cells are actually in the intestine. Yeah, that's right, Christine and Maurice. What we're talking about, though, here is type 1 diabetes, where the body's own immune system attacks insulin-making cells in the pancreas. Turns out the intestine is loaded with cells that can be manipulated to make insulin. It's cured diabetes in mice and just may be able to do it in humans. I had shown kind of classic symptoms. I was urinating a lot. I'd excessive thirst. At just 10 years of age, Eli Bunzel's blood sugar had soared to nine times normal. It took five days in the hospital to bring it under control. I didn't know anything about diabetes. I saw that diagnosis as my life is over. Since then, the 23-year-old pre-med student has learned to manage his diabetes with constant blood sugar testing, insulin injections, or pumps, and very careful eating, all to avoid the devastating consequences of poorly controlled blood sugar. Please lead to eye trouble and kidney trouble, and the large blood vessels lead to heart attack, stroke, loss of limb. But now researchers at Columbia's Naomi Berry Diabetes Research Center have developed a way to turn cells in the intestine into insulin-producing cells. The key is the millions of tiny villi, finger-like absorbers that line the gut. Genetic manipulation makes them act just like the insulin-making cells that are dying in the pancreas. They did it first in diabetic mice. We didn't interfere with any of the other basic metabolic functions of the gastrointestinal tract. So those diabetic mice were, in fact, in that sense, cured. Then researchers took human cells in the lab and turned them into mini-intestinal villi called gutoids. The colored cells are human insulin producers. If this is, is a possible cure for diabetes, I think that would be probably the most life-changing news since my diagnosis. Now the next step already underway is a search for an existing drug to safely turn gut cells into insulin factories in people. Gut cells are shed every two days or so, so diabetics would have to keep taking the drug, but it would mean good sugar control without constant blood testing and insulin shots. Christine? Sounds like a life changer. Thank you, Dr. Max.